Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to here and welcome back to another Minecraft modern vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building a Crown Vic police interceptor. This here is kind of the most iconic American police car I could really say um, out there. The uh, Ford Crown Victoria is a police car, police car that is no longer continued if I remember correctly, um, but it's kind of a staple car that was used by pretty much most police departments around the country. For a very long time. Now they're kind of starting to move into the um, the Ford Explorers, I believe, or um, I want to say that's what they're called. Um, but yeah, so cool uh, vehicle, an iconic police car, just of basically um, the American scene, and uh, just overall really cool, iconic one. We have the in the nice black and white color scheme, very common, uh, stereotypical cop car that we can see here in front of us. Uh, this car here is going to make an awesome addition to any of your worlds, really. Um, you can modify it into a military police car, you can modify it into uh, just a standard Crown Vic, or, you know, really kind of change the colors of it, make it closer to a department near you. There's a lot of playability with this car, but we're going to be doing it in the standard black and white um, color scheme that we have in front of us. This also will go really good with our presidential convoy, in which we've uh, released a few vehicles for that, and hopefully we'll be seeing a few more vehicles released um, pertaining to the presidential convoy. Uh, but yeah, overall pretty cool looking vehicle here and should be a fun build. Uh, we don't do too many kind of, I would say, more civil type vehicles. So it's uh, cool to uh, see the police car here and uh, definitely an awesome build that could be used um, pretty much really anywhere uh, you would have police. So cool stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of move in here to take a look at the build and see exactly what we'll be building. Obviously, uh, we have the front of the car here. So we have the front grill, uh, headlights, and also the... Um, push bar here on the front again the push bar can be removed if you uh, dislike it but I think the push bar just adds that extra dimension there in the front which I think is really nice we then have the uh, kind of uh, you know windshield and uh, you know front driver's seat back driver's seat located back there we have a little light bar or lights on top there which I think works pretty good for having the lanterns I think they work pretty good for that type of um, type of look as you work away to the back here we have the trunk brake lights, all that stuff, and really that's <laughs> about it for the car. Uh, overall, really nice build, I think, and again, going to be very useful uh, for a lot of you guys being able to be used around your worlds and stuff like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we're going to go ahead and start off with layer one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a block of coal, just like this. We then want to go ahead and take our Polished blackstone, we're going to place down two polished blackstone top steps over, and then another block of coal here to the side. After we have that done, across the front here, we're going to place down a row of three, or sorry, row four of polished blackstone top steps across, and then if you're going to push, put the push bar on the front of the vehicle, we're going to place down two wither skeleton skulls like that for the front there. After that's done, go ahead and go back from these stairs here, we're going to go and place down a narrow row of four, or sorry, these full blocks here, so they narrow full, row of four black uh, stone slabs, and then we're going to go and place down three rows of three or three rows of four of the smooth quartz top slabs, and then a row four of the dark uh, blackstone, followed by a row of two of the dark blackstone, a block of coal to both sides, a row three of uh, the blackstone slabs across, and then a, another row of three, or another row of four going across, sorry. So it should look like this here from the top down view. After that's done, we wanna go then take a gray banner, place it down on the sides of these uh, black, uh, coal blocks and to make this banner super simple it's going to be a gray banner we're going to go and place a black border around the banner and then a black line through the horizontally through the center and it's going to create this banner here which is going to go ahead and go on each of your blocks of coal here and we'll uh basically create a kind of a nice little rim design there for the vehicle anyways that right there is going to complete what we have there for layer number one and with that let's move on to layer number two all right guys moving into our next layer we moved into layer number two for layer two to go ahead and get started with here we're going to start off by placing down a row of two of polished black or sorry not polished but just with standard black stone across followed by a black stone corner stair to both sides like that we then want to go ahead and place down two narrow brick fence posts here a end rod to both sides like that for the push bar and right here this kind of depends on what version of minecraft you're on if you're on uh, java edition we can place down a row of four of iron or uh, iron frames going across those four stairs if you're on bedrock you're not able to place the item frames in the same block space as an air block so what that means is uh you'll have to go without the item frames or go without the push bar either way kind of sucks um but uh, you'll just have to kind of pick and choose for whatever version you're on. Anyways, at this point here, we're just going to then place down iron bars in the two center item frames if you're building the item frames. And then we're going to place down a white bed in the 
item frames here to the side for the lights and rotate it so that the pillow is facing toward the insides like so. Anyways, after we have that done, we want to go and then place down two black concrete blocks here in the center, followed by a polished black stone upside down stair to both sides, and then we're going to place down a dark liquid sign coming off the front here of the stair, like so. We're going to go and then place down a row of four of black concrete, and then taking our smooth cords, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four. Smooth cords blocks on the side here, same thing over here on this side as well. And in the center space here, we're just going to go and fill this in with black concrete to completely close that area off. Once we get to the section here, we're going to place down a narrow row of two of black concrete across, this time followed by a polished black stone upside down stair to both sides, and just like we did for the front here, we're going to place that dark oak sign on the side of the stair. We then also want to go and grab ourselves some dark oak buttons on the side of the second quartz block from the front here, and then the fourth one here, we're going to place down dark oak buttons like that for the door handles for the vehicle. After that, on the back here, we're going to place down a row of four of black concrete across, followed by a row of two across the center here, and we want to go and then place down a polished black stone wall in both corners. We then want to place down an item frame, uh, it come off those polished black stone walls, and then in those item frames, we're going to place down a red bed, like so, and we're going to rotate it so the pillow is facing downwards, like so, in the item frames. And once we have that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number two for the build. Here's what it looks like from up above, and with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer here, layer number three. All right, guys, so we're actually going to go ahead and just move into our last final layers here just to go ahead and complete the build. Um, so we'll be marking on layers three through five, I believe. So to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and take our dark oak with trap doors and place down one and two on top of those two black concrete blocks, followed by another two right here. And then to the sides here, we're going to take our black carpet and we're going to place down two black carpets like that to the side. We then want to place down two narrow brick stairs like this across, followed by another brick corner stair. Coming off both sides like so. And we're going to go then place down an item frame coming off this corner stair on both sides here and then a snowball in the item frame. One thing to note is if you're on bedrock, you will probably have to delete this black carpet here on both sides to go ahead and make that uh, item frame fit. But if you are on Java, we can have the black carpet like that on both sides without any issues. From this point here, we're going to go then place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of these stairs. And we then want to go ahead and take our black stained glass blocks and place down a row of two across the center here, followed by a black stained glass pane to both sides. We're going to place down a narrow row of two black stained glass blocks across the center here, followed by a diorite wall to both sides. We're going to place down a narrow row of two black stained glass, followed by a black stained glass pane again to both sides here. A narrow row of two black stained glass full blocks, a diorite wall to both sides. And then on the back here, we're just going to go in very simply, place down two dark oak with trap doors on the center, two black concrete blocks there, and to the sides on these black concrete blocks, we're going to place down a end rod to both sides, followed by two iron bars that go up from those end rods for the radio antennas. So just like that there on the back. After that's all done, lastly on the top here, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some white carpet, polished anesthetic slabs, soul lantern, and a regular lantern. We're going to place down two white carpets on the front here, two polished anesthetic blocks, a soul lantern to the left side and a regular lantern over here to the right side for the lights and then two white carpets like that on top of this these two um, black stained glass blocks and with auto complete there that is going to wrap up what we have for the uh, car for uh, layers th three through five and with that that is going to complete my design here for a um, a uh, crown victoria uh, police car Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial. If you guys are uh, able to put this to good use, uh, do I say you guys do end up giving me credit? This can be anything from a sign of the build to into my channel or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites or anything like that. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And uh, with that, that's going to basically wrap up this tutorial. So thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, drop a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary24, and I'll see you guys next time.